Hey, hi guys, it's me, um, the Chinese Undead Viking, no, uh, it's me, Eric, um, I'm or, aka GarfinCon Board Game Geek, um, I'm here to introduce you, introduce you guys to my new home, um, um, this video can, it's not pretty good to look at, um, whilst I'm talking, um, I'm going to introduce you to uh, my home, which is the first home I've ever owned, uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, it's also the first home, well, obviously, that I've ever renovated. Um, I previously rented a huge house. It was like a 3,000 square feet home. Um, and it meant all my games could be strewn all over the place and had plenty of room. But here, in this house, I only had 1,000 square feet to live with. And, you know, I had to think about, you know, um, you know space for my wife as well. Uh, God forbid, and all, all my animals as well. This is uh, so, I was... Uh, I won't talk too long, I'll just go straight into the house, um, so uh, I'll try to concentrate more on the um, on the gaming part of the house, uh, uh, but I'll go through anything I find interesting that you might find, I'll just have a quick glance through the room first. This is the front door, and well, there's my wife's piano, uh, I'm a Buddhist, so there's, there's a Sakimoni there, uh, that's our open kitchen, if you look up here. It's worth, uh, there's my Iberian ham here. Um, no home should be with that one. Uh, it's a bit morbid, but it's delicious. Um, and there's my uh, mahjong table. Uh, my, we play a lot of mahjong at home, and, uh, and, and so we've got a sort of electronic shuffling mahjong table. But here you see um, this curved shelf that we built for in the living room. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's curved because it's sort of like a feature in the living room, uh, as well as my way to sort of make the living room a little bigger. It was a little narrow to begin with, so I've sort of stole some of the room from the bedrooms and made the living room a little bigger. But here you see some board games, uh, quite a few board games. Uh, I'll just have a quick you know, run through. Uh, it's just my whole collection. You know, there's some Clash of Arms. The games are, uh, per usual, organized in sort of publisher arrangement. Um, in sort of semi-alphabetical order. Uh, it's not in perfect alphabetical order, and also, you know, some games are just there because it fits there. Um, so, you know, you see some Clash of Arms up there, there's some uh, Lock and Load games, my GB, GDW collection, my Europa up there, you know, Find the Eastern Co. Um, some GBG here, um, OSG, West End games, uh, I think some Legion games there, Decision games, some more GDWs, some TSRs down here. I'm reading that really good history about RPGs lately, and you know it's amazing how you know, intertwined war gaming companies are with the uh, with, with our role playing companies. Um, there's some more games down here, <coughs> some Excalibur games down here, and you know there's more more you know in these cupboards down here. There's there's more gaming goodness. I mean, you know, it still needs a bit more organising, but you know there's some more there. There's my battle with magazines in that cupboard but there's you know tons of stuff there and uh, we go and come around here and this is lo and behold this is the war of war games all right so you know it's uh we've got a pretty high ceiling here it's about nine 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 feet so um so you know uh, to reach the those top games i've sort of installed this sort of ladder here which sort of has a rail system that runs across so you can get the games on the top and there you go there's case blue up there um that makes that column you know um uh mmp games the gamers the games right up the top you know there's war of the suns uh awesome game um and there's compass games here and there's mw uh mw games me games sorry no uh, up there and um and you know here's some victory games uh and my Avalon Hill collection uh lots of tons of GMT games um yep and if anyone is interested in sort of like a more close up zoom of all these um just make a request I guess down in the bottom here in the comments um here's some of my AWE games uh, old SPI soapbox games in here. Uh, down here. I don't have many copies of games like uh, I've seen in other people's collections. Uh, my games are in various states of use. Some, a few of them are still in 
new. Um, very few of them are in shrink. Uh, I've played probably half these games, I guess. Uh, uh, so you know, that's the living room. And so, so yeah. Um, so I will walk you into the bedroom, and here's the bedroom. Uh, my wife's not here today, so um, no no naked people here. Um, and so run, running along here. And this is my bookshelf. This is the inner side of the um, curve shelf feature that I showed you before. So my wife's work area, a bed here, and you know there's some books there, and you know I've uh, got barely enough book space. You know these books are like stacked um, up, up on top of each other, and also there's like two layers, and there's books behind those books. And well, you know that's life in Hong Kong. Uh, I wish I had more space for my books. Um, but fortunately, you know, in, in, these, in this day and age of PDFs and Kindles and stuff, fortunately, you know, my book collection isn't getting much bigger, really. Um, uh, so there's that. Okay. Uh, some reading material uh, for the bed. Uh, and here we are. Can we come into my games room? Oh, yeah. And, oh, look at that. Tekinoko and Momar 44. No, that's not the only things I have. Um, I'll just give you a quick glance over it. Uh, too bad this doesn't really have a wide angle. So that's my magazine collection. Uh, there, there were more magazines in the shelf out there. Um, uh, quick, quick run, run around here. And so, board games. Yeah, this is my um, um, homemade geek sheet table. Now I'll show you that in a moment. Um, so I've got a nice neoprene cover on that. Um, so you know, I bought that and cut it myself. And over here is my camera collection, you know, and uh, and here's my uh, SPI flat packs, and there's my Sergeant's mini game. And you are, you may be wondering where the euros are. Well, the euros are up here. Uh, the stacks. It's a bit backlit, so sorry about that. Uh, and stacks. Oh, I confuse this slide. Okay. Stacks and stacks and stacks of it up here. Okay. So in the front here, you see South Glory. Um, I've got a decent set of Euro games up here, you know, uh, some new, some old, you know, um, lots of Solitaire games, actually, I'm sort of like a Solitaire collector, as some of you may know. Uh, okay, well, I'll go over here and, and go through what I've got in this room and some zoom in, and uh, that's my herb, herbs, I'm growing some basil and, and you know, lemon balm um, and some thyme and chili peppers and stuff. Um, here I've got my uh, Against the Odds magazine collection uh, with the um, with the uh, that 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 Turning Point games, the new ones. That, that um, that's two years worth there. Uh, going up here, um, this is my uh, RPG collection on this left hand side. Uh, I'm I'm into Pathfinder. Yeah, it's pretty much a, I think all the Pathfinder books to date. Uh, and sort of up here is my sort of like second, third, three point five edition D and D uh, collection. You know, it's got a lot. You know, the white stuff there is forget the Forgotten Realms, and up the top is all my uh, D and D books. You know, there's some more around up here, and uh, coming down here, there's a few more. There's been Pathfinder there. Um, you know, there's other things in here like there's Maelstrom. I've got um, Numeri. I've got um, you know, quite you know, different sorts of RPGs in there. You know, some I don't have as many supplements for. Um, over here, you know, I've got my SMT collection, uh, basically decision game collection of stuff. You know, modern war and world at war at the top there. Um, over in this cupboard, and, oh, and this sort of like this is pretty much all the SMTs. Um, uh, over here. Uh, is my battle battle tech collection? You know, uh, that's some of them anyway. I've got more in the living room, um, so I've pretty much got all the supplements for that that was ever put out. Um, and, and this is sort of like a massive mash of you know, I've got the uh, Space Gamer magazine, and that's a whole collection of uh, the general. Um, just put the lights over here so we can see a little better. Um, yep, uh, sweet daisy. Uh, yeah, there's Moves Magazine there, I think there's uh, Command in there somewhere, and Wargamer, uh, C C3I, um, uh, Vaevictus, uh, I've got my uh, old Phoenix Magazine, Phoenix Magazine collection up there, 
Uh, that in the corner is Page Wars, I think. Uh, I've got Operations um, in here somewhere as well. Uh, and, you know, I think I've got a few other things. Let's uh, have a look here. Let's see what's it. Uh, Wargamer magazine. Okay, so anyway, there's there's a ton of magazines here. Um, pretty much, um, uh, you know, there's a lot of reading material here. Um, uh, here I've got. Yeah, these are small Ziploc games. I think most of uh, two of these are all victory point games, and that one, uh, I think, Solitaire. Uh, yeah. So some of these are here. You go. This these are RPG modules. Um, I think. Um, from Dark, what's that company called? Uh, escapes me at the moment. But anyway, I think they're, they're all solitaire adventures from uh, Dark Knight. Uh, it's for Fantasy Trip. Uh, it's for the Fantasy Trip. It's sort of like new module somebody's written out. Uh, I've got some, um, some a couple of L2 games that's in those sort of oversized boxes up here. And that's uh, uh, Axis and Allies Anniversary Edition. Okay, um, down here. Ogre game uh, and Lord of the Rings, as you do. I've got a really large main collection on the computer, and it's a computer there. Um, and uh, I mean, this is an awesome sound system. Um, so the, 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 that's that's the magic of the sound system there. It's a uh, benchmark HDRD AC1 uh, analog digital analog converter. Which does 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 a magnificent job. These are Yamaha studio monitor speakers. Over here, they're more related to gaming. Uh, so I have to say, I spend a lot of time on the computer in relation to gaming. So I think that's uh, important. Over here, you know, it's my my workshop for it's my airbrush thing, and there's some of my paints. Um, I've got you know I'm using many brands of paints there. Um, you know, there's some stuff I'm working on uh, before I moved. Um, you know, I've got uh, there's some of my inks, I've got more hidden away somewhere, some of my fountain pens, you know, I, I like writing, and there's some, some notebooks and stuff I write on, and that's a games workshop work pad there. Um, this is where I work, um, I, I, I do my airbrushes here sometimes, and you see I've installed an exhaust fan here so I don't die from the fumes. Um, so, you know, that's my work table, and you know, in, in, in these drawers here, there's more, you know, there's some unpainted miniatures and stuff here. There's some more uh, games here. Um, yeah, it's stuff in every drawer really. There's more games here. And if you look over here, you know, they, these are larger Ziploc games and there's tons in there. And, then, um, and there's tons more in here. And I'm dying to play that game. All right, so there's that. And, uh, and you know, there's my whiteboard. And uh, you may ask, um, uh, the whiteboard's really cool. I can just sort of change the uh, feel of the room by just sticking different things on it. I also got the Manetti holders for counters if I want to mount a Manetti game up there. Uh, I just received my copy of uh, Operation Conwell there. Um, there's more games down here, and there's more stuff down here. You know, there's more paints here, and in those baskets down there is all my terrain. So, um, you know, <laughs> some of it's for Battle Tag, some of it's for. Uh, for you know World War II terrain, you know, um, so you know, got lots, lots of terrain now. Uh, what I'm dying to show you is my table. So you, uh, this is like a, uh, yeah, it's a it's a pretty table. It's uh, made of um, it's really nice wood. It's really heavy. Okay, um, it costs a fraction of the price of a kick chic table. I did hold. I mean, some of the inspiration for this table actually came from the kick chic tables. Um, so, um, well, what I've, I, it's not, not as well designed. I mean, I don't have drawers on this, right? Um, it would have been a little more complicated and difficult for them to make. And, you know, the more stuff you get them to make, um, you know, and the more likely they're going to mess it up. So I kept it simple. So it's a, so, you know, there's a table I'm in here. I've got, so it's in three sections. You can see the wood grain is slightly different on each. And down here, I've got a little hole. I can stick something pointy up in and I can lift that up. I'm going to put the phone down in a second because it's pretty heavy. And I'm just going to, okay, so I've lifted that section up and you see, just like a kick sheet table, I've got this um, nice uh, green 
felt line, sort of like a, sort of a giant mouse pad lined um, bottom here. Um, and you see I've got a game that's been set up. Um, it's actually in, in, in the middle of the game. It's a uh, Game of Thrones. So, you know, just like the Geek Chic table, you know, I've got this sort of depth that goes about almost two inches, I think. Um, so I can pretty much even leave a, I say my Sergeant's mini game. Uh, um, so permanently set up and so that I can pick up the game next time and uh, and like this game I, you know, I can put the game on pause and close it excuse the noise and then um, and then you know I put my new pin cover back on and I can play another game on that um, in between games so um, that's really awesome and um, now is there anything else about this house yeah, it's it's turned out pretty well. I mean, um, uh, yeah. uh, other things I've uh, can I think of anything I've done here? Yeah, yeah. There's there's a projector there. All right, so there's my projector, and there's a screen that comes down from there, and you know I can play a vassal on that, watch a movie, uh, what have you, whatever you can think of. Um, yeah. Um, uh, are there any more games? Yeah, basically, you know, there's not much room, and uh, I've had to stick games everywhere. So over here. You know, there's more games here, and there's actually more games up in those cupboards up there. Um, there's more rooms in this house. Um, some of it's like a guest bedroom and stuff, but, you know, um, there's some games and some, some of my paraphernalia in those rooms as well. But, in any case, this is my, this here, is my dream house. Welcome. Um, you're all cordially invited to uh, play a game with me here if you're ever in town. Um, yeah, so, um, so... So yeah, well, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, if there's anything you want to ask about the house and, and its design and what have you, um, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, yeah, enjoy.